Welcome to Edge Designs LLC. Uh, today we'll be talking about the Mad Cats Tournament Edition 2 Stick. Uh, it just launched this week. Um, for those of you that probably pre-ordered early, you probably already got your hands on it. Um, if you pre-ordered, I think after January 26th, I think the expected uh, next launch is going to be mid-March. Um, but basically, I'm just going to be doing a quick review, talking about some of the things I do like about the arcade stick, um, and just a few things um, um, I didn't like about it. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. Um, as you can see, it's already unboxed. I really haven't done any unboxing videos uh, as of yet, but uh, this is the box that it comes in. And of course, this is the arcade stick right here. Uh, as you can see, this is the joystick. These are the, uh, the buttons right here. Um, they use those really nice Japanese part, parts. I think they're called sandal parts. Uh, so they're still using those. Um, you got your standard buttons here. All this stuff can be customized. Um, you got your PlayStation, uh, you know, kind of like your home button here. Uh, you also have your uh, toggle between PS4 um, and PS3. You got your L3, R3 button here. Um, look at, Take a look at the back. Uh, you got your start options button. Also your select share button here. Um, this is also the, the the connection piece for your cable um, that comes included with it. Uh, another thing I do like about it on the back, um, they have this new padded thing here. Before it was like all metal, and like the last time you go play a game, you would sit on your lap because it was metal. Obviously, it was very cold. Um, that's one thing I did not like about the first one. Um, also, another nice feature: uh, if you take a look on the front here, there's a button here you can press. Uh, if you press and hold down on that, it pretty much releases the top panel, which can be opened. Um, and voila, you have um, access to all your, your cables and, and all that stuff. And if you want to customize any of these buttons or joystick um, to different colors or styles, you can do that. This is a really big improvement that I do like about um, this new arcade stick. And also, there's, if there ever becomes a problem with the arcade stick, it'll make it just a lot more easier to um, actually um, fix it. So that's another thing I do like about it. Um, and other than that, uh, if you're kind of on the fence about it, uh, definitely give it two thumbs up. Oh, and one other thing um, I forgot to mention that I didn't so much like about it is the weight. It is a little heavy. Uh, I wish it could just made it a little bit lighter, but I guess because it's so sturdy and um, a big solid uh, arcade stick, I guess the weight comes into play. But So that's just a minor dislike. But other than that, I definitely give it two thumbs up um, for anybody that's looking for a solid arcade stick that can, you know, kind of go across the board for any fighting game. Um, obviously, this was tailored for uh, Street Fighter, but however, it can be used on any fighting game, of course. Uh, I think it retails for $229 right now. I got it directly from Mad Cats, of course, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's available at other retailers, whether it's, I guess, GameStop, Best Buy, Amazon, or eBay. Um, but overall, definitely two thumbs up and uh, definitely recommend it. I uh, hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Um, and y'all have a great day. Bye-bye. Uh,